How's it going everyone? Today we have an exclusive sponsorship with the photo booth business that sponsored us a new photo booth. We're gonna set it up, we're gonna review it, and we're gonna give you a discount code for your next purchase. All right guys, the first thing I wanna do is go over every single piece that they sent us in this case. So let's get straight to it. So the first thing they did, it, once you get your new case, is they give you this bag, this bag, this light, this is an exclusive piece. I'm going to talk about this a little bit later. And they give you these bars. And I'm going to show you how to set this all up. So first thing first, in this bag, we have a bunch of pieces that you'll be using for your 360 photo booth. To begin with, these right here are the little wheels that you'll be using when, for, your, for your case. So if you're one of those people that want to travel with your 360 photo booth to other locations and you want to have it a, have it have a little bit more protection for your photo booth, you can use these wheels. They go on right at the top. You just screw them in and that's it. So these are the pieces that came in the next bag. They're very useful for your 360 booth. This is gonna help you level it out in different areas. There are a lot of people that wanna have 360 photo booths in, on sand, on, on concrete, on uneven grass. So if you're gonna have, if you plan on doing events like that, you're gonna need these pieces installed correctly just to make sure you're fine. Now let's move on to the next bag. So right here is we're gonna have our meat and bones of our 360 booth. So first thing first, it comes with a remote controller. Now I'm gonna go into depth on how to control this with the remote and with the app. But just know that if anything ever happens with your app, having this controller is very important to have. I've had opportunities where I was out at a 360 photo booth and my app wasn't working at all. And I needed a solution to that problem of running my 360 booth for the rest of the event. Having this as a backup is gonna make your life easier, but using the app is overall gonna be the easiest option when you're first starting out. The next thing in our goodie bag is gonna be a bunch of attachments to attach your phone. So basically, you have all types of grips. This is a universal grip holder. Basically, you can put your phone in this way, so on this side, you can put it this way, or if you wanted to, you can flip it around to the other side and hold your phone sideways. The next thing we're gonna have is our power supply. So if you look at closely at the power supply, it does say AC adapter on there. Now we have some LED lights that we use with our 360 booth, and we noticed that one time we mixed them up and our 360 booth actually ran slower. So if you want to make sure that your 360 booth works perfectly every time, make sure that you're getting the correct adapter. This one is the AC adapter and it connects with this other piece right here. Right here we have our tablet holder. As you can see, it's wider, has more grip, comes out a little bit further. This is made for a tablet. Next thing we have is some fixed brackets. Here's another grip and this is the grip that I prefer. I actually use this with my phone a lot. You just screw at the bottom here and place the phone right on top. And it works well with one light in particular and I'll show you that later. This is the mobile phone holder grip. Basically, this ball goes inside of this unit right here. So you unscrew it to make it a little loose, pop it in there, screw it tight and tighten it on. And now it's more, more tightened. It gives you a little bit more flexibility on where to hold the phone. Particularly for me, it doesn't, it's not that useful for me, but it does come in a case if you want some more options. Here's another piece right here. You just turn this, makes it more flexible to move your pieces around. These are the screws that we're gonna use when setting up the 360 booth completely with the bar. So this is very important, make sure you put this aside with your bars. And that concludes everything in this bag. So with two bags down, last thing that they give you that's always included when you get a 360 booth is the light. So as you can see, this light is very light. It comes with three attachment size pieces where you can slide in things. It does have a, a, the same little screw hole at the bottom. So you can just screw this on top of the metal piece that we're gonna attach to the 360 booth. And you'll know more about this when we move further along in the video. So we just finished breaking down everything that you get with the 360 photo booth when you purchase a regular setup. But I wanna talk about some of the add-ons that I've really liked using these past couple of days. So first thing I wanna talk about is this light. This light is very useful and is a lot better than this one. And I wanna tell you why. So 
when it comes to the two lights, this one requires power and this one requires power, but this one must be plugged in to power it. So to power it, I must plug this one in to a power supply every time I wanna use it. This can be a little annoying when you go out into the field and you might not have access to extra power. This on the other hand is a lot more reliable. So one, this does not have to be connected to power when spinning a 360 photo booth around. This has its own internal battery. So I've charged it a little bit just to show you guys. It has its own internal battery. It light changes, so it can go from, from this you know, warmer tone of the room all the way to a brighter tone in the room. And my favorite feature about it is that when the light is on, when the light is on, you can also plug in a USB right there plug in a USB right there and connect it to your phone. So while I have this light out, I wanna quickly break down how I use it. The first thing I do is I connect the piece that I love using with this light specifically. So the piece I'm choosing is this one. Remember, you guys remember this one? It has a little adapter piece, can stretch out a little bit. I connect this to the bottom right here and screw that on. And now I have a nice connection with the unit. Now, when it comes to attaching my phone to it, obviously, I just put it right to the side and slide it right in. And that's a perfect setup for me. And this is a perfect setup for me. Now, one exclusive thing I like to also do with this is the following. I personally love this light over this light for this main reason right here, and I'm gonna show you. I grab my USB cord, and like I said, I can plug it into this little socket right here. So let me show you with a close-up camera view. I can plug it up into this socket right here. Plug that in. I can wrap this cord around as many times as I like, just so it's not distracting, it's not flying, flying everywhere, you know? And then when I'm done with my wrapping, I just connect it at the bottom right here. Now, what this allows me to do, see, I wrap it around a couple times, then, like so, I just connect it right here. What this allows me to do is, if I turn on this light, and, let me, and let's say I dim it all the way down, all the way down, as low as I can get it, as you can see, it will be charging my phone. That's why I love it. This is an option for me to charge my phone while it is in use. Now guys, I know you might not know this, but it is very difficult to charge your phone while it's in use. If I was to go this route, I'd have to buy an external battery, hook up that external battery on the pole itself or configure it some way to spin around with the 360 photo booth. And I don't want another battery pack spinning around my 360 booth you know, adding more weight to my motor. I want my motor having the lightest possible thing on it so it can work fluently every single time. This is the best solution for me. It doesn't block the camera. I can plug it right in. It also lights the subject that I'm already shooting and it charges my 360 photo booth camera phone as I'm doing the 360 booth. The second add-on that I wanna talk about that you can get from this company is the battery solution. I know I was just complaining about it, but if you guys decided, hey, I just wanna use the standard light, I don't wanna spend the extra cash to get, you know, the extra light that's also charged my phone, cool. You can get just get a battery pack. They offer one if you wanna buy it directly from them. You just add it on to your, your thing, and like so, it has two places to charge it. So, you plug it in, you turn it on, you can turn on the switch, and there you go. Now you have your light on. But now you have to attach this battery piece at the bottom pole. You have to attach this piece on the pole itself. So that's something you're gonna have to figure out yourself. I have one more item that they shipped me that I'm gonna love today. So when I go out on location, I'm always looking for a power supply. And I've always wondered, how can I power my photo booth without having access to power? But they gave me this. This power brick that turns on, I can turn it on, turn it off, can power the 360 photo booth at any location. 
So now, if I'm out in, if I'm out in the center of the parking lot, or if I'm out in, you know, if I'm on the beach, if I'm at any area where I don't have access to an outlet, I can use this battery pack, plug it directly into the photo booth, and I can use my 360 anywhere. This is gonna give me the flexibility um, to do it anywhere that I like to. It's gonna give me an advantage over my competition. My competition is not gonna be able to do a 360 photo booth in the middle of a park, but I am. So if you're in the market of finding something that's gonna give you a little bit more flexibility, to make you stand out a little bit, I highly suggest get in the battery pack also, just to give you that extra flexibility to move around and go wherever you like in the room, off site or on site. All right, now that we spent such a good portion of the time going over everything, I wanna start getting ready to show you how to set up the 360 booth. So first, let's just start with the pole so you kind of understand where these little pieces come together when hooking up the 360 photo booth. So first thing I wanna show you is setting up your bar that you're gonna place your camera on. So I personally get the bar and I screw it on the bottom of this extension pole. So this is an extension pole. As you can see, you turn it, it extends out. I usually extend it out one at the top and then that's the most, most what I need during events. But for now, I just wanna show you how I attach it. So at the bottom, there's a little screw head at the bottom that you can see. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna come here and turn this on. You're gonna turn, keep turning. You turn both ways until it's nice and snug. And then there you go. This is the first piece of the photo booth that's gonna be the most important when you're first getting started. So, happy to have it done. The next attachment and my preferred phone holder piece to help me hold my phone and everything is the little ball head piece. So, as you remember, this is the piece that I can just turn the little knob there and I can move it around. This is gonna give me the flexibility to move that light source. So, we're gonna screw that right on the top. We're gonna screw that right on the top. And then we can maneuver, maneuver that right afterwards. So, with that being attached, now we're good to go. Now, now that that's done, we can go ahead and put on our three, our, our light source. So this is how you screw on our light source. You just turn it on. I turn it on as snug as I can. And then afterwards, I turn the little ball joint so I can maneuver it around. And there we go. Now that we've went over the pole extension, how to connect the two pieces, how to power the phone, how to light everything, let's move on to the platform and show you how to set up the bottom piece so we can put this all together. So let's move on to attaching these screws at the bottom. They're very simple. There's about eight pieces that come in here. You just turn them at the bottom. Now, like I said, these attachments are gonna help you level out the floor anytime you're in a different location. And that's why it's important to put these on. When I first put these on, I put them on all the way in. And then when I get on location, I just unloosen the parts that I think are uneven with the ground. So that bad boy up. Turn it to the side. Show you the beautiful front of it, 360 photo booth, so people know what it is. And now we can set our 360 photo booth down. So now, when setting up a 360 photo booth, you always want to connect, you always want to lay your 360 photo booth closest to your power source. And I'll explain what that means. So my power source is right on this side. I have an extension cord that I'm gonna use to power up the 360 photo booth. So, if you look at the bottom, right here is where you'll be plugging up the 360 cord. So, if that's gonna be the core place that we plug it up, I want that to be facing the closest outlet. That way I can get, you know, I can get my power supply very close. Because what I don't wanna do is have this on the opposite side and have wires going all the way around for my clients to slip over. Because as soon as they slip over, they're gonna disconnect the 360 photo booth and you're gonna have to, you know, reconnect it. You wanna make everything easy. So, if you, you come down here, you look at your power supply, it's right here. You face it closest towards where you're gonna be and then you go from there. 
Here's the pole piece that we're gonna use. We're gonna look for our piece. As you can see, it's on the other side, so I'm gonna have it face towards us, so. You can see it turning around. Here's the piece that we're gonna be attaching it to. So I'm gonna let you see right there. That's the piece that we're attaching it to. It comes with two screws on the inside, so you're gonna unscrew that a little bit. You don't have to take it all the way out, these two screws. You just get it further, further enough out so you can put this piece inside. As you can see, this is the piece that we're gonna use. Same thing with the other side, loosen it up. Then you're gonna go ahead and slide your piece in, like so. Now, when sliding my piece in, I typically like it to be around this way. It's like a couple, like maybe a, a finger, a finger length away. I don't like it being all the way up because I tend to have people have their feet a little bit off the 360 photo booth sometimes, and I don't want this to hit. So my suggestion is just bring it out just a little bit, just to give you a little distance for people that might step over just a little bit, like kids or, you know, just drunk adults that are playing. Give them a little space. So with that being the section that I like right now, with that being the section that I like, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tighten these up. So let's tighten them up. The next piece we're gonna put down now is the attachment where we attached our pole. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our two pieces right here. Remember these pieces? I told you we're gonna be needing these to attach our long pole. We're gonna grab our long pole. We're gonna put it right in between, in between these two sockets. And we're gonna take our first piece for it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna separate these two pieces. Now we're gonna separate these two pieces. Then we're gonna stick this piece right in between this hole right here. We're gonna stick it right in between that hole. And it's gonna go in between this hole, out from this side, and then out from there. And then we're gonna tighten it. So let me show you that process real quick. So put it in there. Put the screw in. And it is a little harder to hold it and do it all at once, but it's doable. As you can see, as you can see the screw came out on the other side. So now we just tighten it. And the first piece is tightened. Now typically for the second one, you can choose where you like to go. I typically like to go two down. That way it's on a good enough angle and I feel like it's enough distance to see everything. So this is the very top. One, two. That's the place that I like to be at. Then from here you just connect the other side. So after I have it attached, the last process and steps that I'm gonna have to take is plugging it in and moving this to a correct position. So, I'm gonna turn my little knob at the top. So remember I have my little knob right here. I'm gonna turn this piece. I'm gonna lift it up some to a place I think is more stable. I think it'd be more stable kind of like that, facing towards the center. Facing towards the center like that. And then from there, I have my 360 photo booth nice and ready to go. Now, typically for me, I use the, the rear facing camera, so I'm gonna switch that real quick. So, so I typically face it up this way. I press start. Now, if you wanna see a video on how we use the software program, make sure you check out the next video where I, where I go into depth. But from here, I'm also gonna extend it out. So I'm gonna extend it out one level. And this is typically how I like to have it. Now, before I plug it in and start it, I typically like to go around the room and make sure that it's not hitting anything. So as you can see, nothing is being hit. Nothing is gonna interfere with us testing it out. So from there, I'm gonna plug it in and then we're gonna try it out. So when plugging it in, I always like to go under. That way when this comes around, it's not getting wrapped up. Not if it goes under, so I always go under. And then, as you can see, I plug it up. Right where it's supposed to be plugged up at, right here. And now we're ready to go. So from there, I'm gonna go to the app. Now, if you don't have it, 
It's called Shack Talk. Make sure you get that from the Apple Store. I mean, from the Play Store or wherever you can find it for your mobile device. Make sure it's connected. So I'm going to hit Connect New. And it's, it's saying connecting right now. Connect to other devices. Now all I have to do is step on. Typically, what I like to do is I like to put this all the way up to 8. And then I like to put this at 20 for my photo booth. And then I'm going to hit Play. And, and I'm going to test it out. As you can see, the 360 booth is spinning around. I'm gonna look at the camera a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys a video that I made just right now with the 360 photo booth. Guys, as a reminder, this video is brought to you by YCK JMB. They're the people that provided the 360 photo booth for this video and they gave me an exclusive discount code that you can use to get 30% off of your next purchase. So make sure you look at the link in the description below, put the discount code in and get 30% off of your next 360 photo booth to start your business. So Taekwondo showed you how to set up the photo booth. I'm gonna show you how to connect the remote to the photo booth. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna plug in your AC power. So once you have the power plugged in, you can hit the on button on the remote and you'll see that the light flat light flashes, but it doesn't do anything. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna plug it in, you're gonna go down, up, reverse, on. There you go. And now you're connected. And then you hit the on button and your arm starts to roll. And then you want to stop it <laughs> you stop it all right guys now that i've showed you the, the 360 photo booth plugged up and how to set it up i want to go over these special things that i told you about so number one if you order it from them it could come with this light that charges your phone as i said before you're not going to want to put your phone battery charger down here and charge up this other piece down here you want this exclusive light that you can get from this supplier to power your phone and to, to put light on your subject. So these lights come on, they are bicolor, they are very dimmable, they're very dimmable, but they also can get very bright. They, they're bicolor, so you can change it from one end of the spectrum to the other end of the spectrum to match up with the room coloring of the room. Lastly, I also wanna talk about this battery pack. This battery pack is awesome, and I wanna show you it, I wanna show you it being used right now. So if you wanna come over here real quick, I want to show you guys, and I want you guys to see me from the action. Here's me unplugging the, the last cord. So that's to the, to the power supply. And here's the battery pack right here. What we're going to do is we're going to plug in to the 24 in and out right here. So we're going to plug this side right to the 24 side right here. We're going to plug in the other piece right to the 360 booth. So as you can see, we're going to grab our wire, plug it right in right now. And we're gonna turn on our 360 booth right there. And now we're ready to go. So as you can see, the plug is plugged up to the battery pack. We have the AC adapter completely disconnected. We have our 360 photo booth, our, our camera on it, and we have the light there. And I'm about to press play right on the phone. And as you can see, it's moving all around me. This is definitely gonna give me the flexibility I need to do anything that I need to do when I'm on off site. So if you want the flexibility to have your 360 going off site in the middle of the park, in the middle of the street, at locations where you're not gonna have access to power, make sure you grab the additional add-on. The battery pack is definitely gonna give you that advantage over your competition because you're gonna be able to do your 360 photo booth anywhere. So that's gonna conclude our video today. I hope this setup process helped you explore everything that you may need and not need for your 360 photo booth setup. We're gonna put an exclusive discount code for about 30% in the link in the description below. And make sure if you wanna learn how to use TouchPix or Canva, you check out our next video.